Every Call of Duty introduces new pieces of lethal and tactical equipment that are varying levels of useful, overpowered, annoying, and uh, I would say one of the worst inventions in recent years in Call of Duty is the Stim Shot. The Stim Shot is a tactical item that was introduced in Black Ops 4 to replace the standard manual healing, and it was just faster manual healing that allowed you to shoot while doing it. We then saw it again in Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. In Black Ops Cold War and Black Ops 4, you were able to have them automatically recharge just by equipping the damn thing, but in Modern Warfare, you had to use restock if you wanted the stim shots to recharge over time. And I almost forgot, there was also a stim shot in Infinite Warfare, if that's relevant to you. So why don't I like stim shots? Why do they bother me? Well, don't get me wrong, I do actually like using them. Uh, in gameplay commentaries, you guys have probably seen me use them when I live stream. I often put them on my classes. You know, don't get me wrong, I see their usefulness and I do utilize them, but the reason I don't like their introduction in the game is that it's a band-aid fix for a problem that could be fixed globally to make the game more consistent. And let me explain to you what I mean. Instead of having a piece of equipment that allows you to regenerate health faster, or basically immediately activate health regen whenever you want, I think global health regeneration times in Call of Duty should just be faster. If you want to know how fast I want it to be, go into a private match and set health regen to fast and get into some gunfights and tell me how much better that feels compared to normal. Call of Duty is a fast, lethal game. Always has been. You die fast, you kill fast, you run fast, and I really think that health regen should you know, come up to those standards. Because in an edge case, stim shots create really annoying engagements in my opinion and in my experience. I noticed it first in Black Ops 4, when I put damage into somebody that's coming towards me, they'd go behind a piece of cover that conceals them for about half a second, maybe a full second and a half. They come out from around the cover and they're back at full health. Meaning I have to put one and a half kills worth of damage into them in order to win the gunfight, whereas all they had to do was keep running until they had cover, press you know their bumper or a key on their keyboard, and then come around the corner ready for the gunfight at full health. There is no indication on my end that the person has a stim shot and will be able to perform that type of maneuver, but yet it happens. It happens without my say so, it happens without my knowledge. So many people in Modern Warfare do the same thing. Now I love running stim shots in Modern Warfare on my sniper classes of all things. And the reason being is if somebody hit markers me in the distance with like a car 98, I can crouch, stim, and stand back up and go to shoot them. They'll think I'm one shot and they won't try to be as accurate. You know, they'll try, they'll try to just get any shot on me, like my leg, my dick, my arm, and they'll end up hit markering me because I'm back at full health and they had no idea. I do the same thing in Black Ops Cold War, but obviously you might think, boom, they're obviously for more aggressive play styles. Why waste them on long range? because they're not really just for aggressive playstyles. That's where they're that's where they're their most practical for sure, but really what they're about is deception. They're about getting into a gunfight with an opponent, taking damage, and then if you're able to escape off their screen, if you're able to run around a corner, if you're able to hug a wall, you're able to come back into that gunfight at full health if they give you that opportunity, if there's a lull in the gunfight. So Call of Duty rarely has gunfights that go on for a while. Call of Duty is a very fast game. So when a gunfight is two players exchanging fire and getting hit markers, but one player doesn't have stims and the other player does have stims, the player that dips out and uses an escape route and stims themselves and comes back in is just what they're doing, is manipulating their opponent. They're deceiving their opponent into thinking, yes, you just did damage to me, but I'm gonna come around the corner with full health. You shot me four times, you needed to shoot me five times, I stemmed, and now you have to shoot me five times again. That's nine hit markers you're going to get in this exchange, and I really hate those fire exchanges. They are why I run stims. Now you also might say that, well, the person that's not using a stim can probably just concussion the person and push them, but that's why I've made videos talking about how I hate concussions and stuns, and I would love Call of Duty games to just not have them. I don't like things that take the interesting gunfights, the, the back and forth, the struggle fights, you know? I hate when a piece of equipment trivializes that entirely. Like when I do private matches with my friends, we do not use or allow flashes and stuns. It's a meme if one of us does it because we know how trivial they make a gunfight. And because of how fast Call of Duty is, even using Battle Hardened or Tac Mask or whatever the, whatever the equivalent is, 
just the initial stun effect of getting hit by a flashbang or whatever can really lose you a gunfight, easily lose you a gunfight. Now we don't really allow stems either because of how many times my friend abused stems in quickscoping battles if I hit markered him and then I came around the corner he'd be at full health and I was like you're stimming every time aren't you and he was like yeah and we were like you know what stems kind of make this bullshit I use stems against him and he agreed it's very frustrating to land the shots you need to kill or almost kill I mean and then the person's at full you have to do it all over again you have to put a kill and a half worth of damage into so many people if they're running from you and a lot of times if they have stims they will run from you one of the things i've dealt with recently that i was considering to be noob movement really ended up not being noob movement the reason people run out of gunfights they start taking damage and they just book it they're gone they're leaving the reason that happens is because call of duty games now have unlimited sprint you're pretty fast mover and you're able to just get out of the gunfight and stim and then reset the gunfight I genuinely think that it just makes Call of Duty play strangely, and in certain cases, it takes those slightly longer exchanges of fire, those slightly longer gunfights where you're both hitting each other but not killing each other, and it makes them, for lack of a better term, fucky. The stim shot's real utility isn't practical health regeneration, it's deception. One of the most annoying things in any shooter is getting third party, meaning when you're fighting an opponent, and then after you take damage from that firefight, somebody comes in and puts the last little bit of damage into you. And stim shots really fuck this up. You know, one of the things you gotta do in Call of Duty is look at the kill feed in the minimap to find out where your teammates are fighting and dying. So if I see my teammate go into a room and get killed after I hear an exchange of fire, I'm going to assume that the enemy is at least a little bit injured, at least has one shot put into them, and I'm gonna feel confident pushing that person. Obviously, if they have stim, they're gonna be at full health by the time I get there. Now you might say, well, third partying scummy, and if, if stims reduce that, then awesome. And I would agree with you, um, except for the fact that I don't think stims are the answer. I think just increasing the speed of health regeneration is the answer. I think if it takes a second and a half for health regen to start, and then two and a half seconds for it to finish, I think that would be perfect. I think everybody having the same movement rules, meaning that they have different percentage of movement speed depending on their weapon class, everybody having the same jump height and mantle height, everybody being able to do the same things makes games feel a lot more consistent. And Call of Duty lacks a lot of consistency and skill gap because of the freedom of choice and freedom of abuse that creative class allows. You don't have that Halo fair start thing where everybody spawns in with the same gun and has to scavenge for more. But one of the ways we could make Call of Duty a lot more consistent is by having a single health regeneration number that is constant, consistent, and competitive. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I've had this opinion for a while, but I got this tweet today, and I thought, you know what, that'd be a pretty good idea for a commentary. I'm trying to do a video a day for the rest of the month, and uh, this is a really good short topic, and it got to eight minutes, so that's great for me. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.